what you said, Bibi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you, sister. There's some woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. Sam, there's something I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. All weapons will remain locked until... While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellia monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Suggest it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. 
surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order of time. Begin and scan. Have a pleasant journey. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your own deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, 
we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Your drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
damn addicts chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. It made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Good. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, Larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive mans with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work.
got some chiral crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated chirillium levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network has something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Useful. We've added it. There is a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. First, plenty of take, give it a try. Have a pleasant journey. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. 
access it to submit additional materials. Weapons restrictions lifted. Life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well placed bridge. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Sam. lifted.
There we go.
Delivering cargo. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places, too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Incredible. How'd you get this here? You fly? All we need now is a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. Network bandwidth is a limited resource, and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you will increase as well. time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edge Knot City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I've never met her in person, but it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon. And when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the Chiral Network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. <laughs> 